Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Okay, we're going to move to um, the uh, Constitution Amendment, uh, concurrent resolution, uh, 32. Representative, Representative Deshaies, you had a motion to make? Yeah, I, I'd like to motion ITL on CACR 32. We have a motion to ITL on uh, 32, Constitution Amendment 32. We have a second. Representative Rollins seconds the amendment. And would you like to speak to your ITL yeah, I'll, I'll be brief. I mean, we, I, committee, you know, for people that weren't in committee yesterday, the committee asked me questions for probably about 27 minutes straight. And, um, but they were good, and it was a great, stimulating conversation. Many of us sat here uh, for three hours and listened to testimony, but what we have to remember about the testimony that we heard yesterday is the constitutional ramifications were not touched. Even the people who did the mental gymnastics regarding how the economic and the logistical situation could be remedied. Um, at the end of the day, we, have to, we took an oath to the U.S. Constitution, to the state constitution. That oath recognizes by taking that oath to both constitutions and with both constitutions recognizing uh, joint sovereignty over issues in this country. Um, it, it, it doesn't make sense for us to be violating that oath as a uh, as a um, as legislators. There's also then you know people supporting this. Uh, we enter into a very gray area regarding whether or not that is rebellion and whether or not that is uh, that's grounds for removal from office, which is a very scary thing to think about. Um, it's something that would disenfranchise voters. It's something that is uh, to me. It's a um, you know, should we really be forcing not only the U.S. Constitution into a uh, into you know disarray, but should we also be forcing this body into a situation where we have to start asking the question: Should a legislator be sitting um, within this body? And you know, we discussed that at length yesterday. And um, I think I think the constitutional argument against it was quite sound. I think the argument that was brought forward by members of the committee was quite sound, and I don't think anyone who testified yesterday in favor could properly address that other than if they believe that the U.S. Constitution is um, has no legal authority, which it quite clearly does. The U.S. Constitution is the utmost legal authority in this country. So with that, I, I would encourage every legislator on this committee to... Um, to encourage the body to recommend to the body that we unanimously um, strike down CACR 32, right? Because we've st we embarked on a constitutional process starting with the introduction of this and the hearing, and um, this is when we now enter into the constitutional situation of, you know, what happens if legislators support this? And I would I would hope that that's just not a question we even have to address at any point and any time going forward. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm just going to add, a, I, I agree with this here, you know, but the thing is why I'm not supporting it is because there's no plan what happens after. There's nothing in place here. What happens to our elderly? What happens to the working people? What happens to the people who paid in Social Security? What happens to people who work in Massachusetts? What happens to the military uh, on our borders with the air, the tankers, with our, our national support that we have with our military here? on the equipment that was sent to us, paid by the federal government, there's no plan. I mean, yeah, we all believe, many of us believe the federal government is a little out of control, but we are fortunate, no, because New Hampshire is fortunate for many years standing up on their own. We don't have a sales tax, we have a property tax. We kicked back, we, we went against the federal government on medical marijuana. We went, we're the only state in the country without a seatbelt law. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.